Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 16th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we'll be talking about relative linking and uh, relative linking is linking from one section of a document to another section of the same document from within the document, right? And uh, we use the anchor tag for relative linking as well and we've already seen an example of the anchor tag in the last tutorial and uh, you know what I have here is uh, you know text from Spain's Wikipedia page and I just uh, copied all the text that was there on the page and I pasted that text in this text file and in this HTML document and uh, all the text is between the opening pre-tag here and uh, the closing pre-tag I don't know you know I have to scroll down way below uh, yeah so the closing pre-tag is on line number 805 right so between the opening and closing pre-tag I have all this text and uh, you know I also have two anchor tags uh, in this file and uh, also a pair of heading tags so let me show you guys the heading tags first so I have uh, you know my opening heading tag the h2 tag on line number 14 here and uh, you know the corresponding uh, closing heading tag is uh, on line number 70 so you know this section is going to appear uh, in bold and it's also going to have a greater font size and this is the content section right so i just want this to be highlighted on the web page and that's why i have this within the h2 tags and uh, similarly there is uh, another uh, section you know uh, in this uh, page i'll show you guys where that is yeah so it's right here and uh, you know this one again is uh, between uh, heading tags so i have another opening heading tag on line number 619 and i have uh, the corresponding closing tag on line number 649 as you can see here so let me show you guys this uh, you know page in google chrome so this is how it looks and uh, as you can see the text at the top of the screen you know this is uh, not bold and it's also smaller in size as compared to the contents uh, section which is in bold and uh, also has a greater font size and similarly if i would scroll down then uh, you know the languages section is again see over here again this is in bold and it's also greater uh, in size so the reason why i've highlighted uh, you know these sections is because what I want to do is I want to click on the languages item in the content section here and I want to be taken to the languages section in the document right so this is what happens uh, you know I'm sure you guys have used Wikipedia so when you click on an item in the content section uh, you know for a page in Wikipedia you are taken to you know that particular section in the page so over here if I would click on uh, the languages link which is there in the content section then I'm taken to the languages section in the document right and um, I can read it and I can uh, you know have other links too you know from within the content section to the other sections in the document so now let's see how we've uh, achieved this uh, using the HTML that we have in this document so I'll go uh, first up to the content section and see what I have there and uh, obviously I have used the anchor tag for creating the link now the href attribute this time takes the value hash languages right so instead of uh, specifying a url here since we are uh, sort of you know redirecting the user to you know another section in the same document we don't have to mention the url of this document um, you know here as a value to the href attribute uh, i have used the pound symbol or the hash and uh, then I have you know typed in languages and you could even type in your own name here as long as this text matches the text at the destination and we're going to check out how the anchor tag looks at the destination but uh, you know I have just typed languages here right and uh, that's why this item 6.5 space languages appears as a hyperlink uh, in the in the web page when you see it in a browser and now I would scroll down and show you guys how the destination anchor tag looks so I would scroll down to the languages uh, section yeah here it is so over here again I have the anchor tag and uh, between the lesson and greater than symbol I have a space name so this time I don't have the href attribute here I have the name attribute and it takes the value languages so over at the top if you would have given the name uh, you know let's say Spain underscore languages instead of just languages then you would have had to use the same name here right so you would have had to type Spain underscore languages here too but since we use languages or rather hash languages 
uh, in the upper anchor tag we have to use languages here and uh, again you know this is the place where uh, you will be redirected if you click on the link that's made uh, you know uh, through the anchor tag in the content section and again you have the closing anchor tag so you know this is what relative linking is and it's very useful particularly in uh, such documents in which there is a lot of text and people have to scroll down and you know let's say there are uh, like in this document there are 807 lines of text so you know for even bigger documents documents that have thousands and thousands of lines if someone's interested in only one particular section then it would make sense to create links at the top so that people can click on uh, you know a link of their choice and uh, be taken directly to whatever they wish to read right so that's it for now i'll see you guys in the next tutorial in which uh, we'll uh, check out more html and i hope you guys are enjoying this course and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already see you in the next tutorial till then take care